Silverware on display for the final round of the Gainbridge LPGA at Boca Rio. Overnight leader Madeline Sagstrom trying to become a first-time winner on tour. So few mistakes this week for Sagstrom, but here on five, she cards her second bogey of the day to drop to 13 under. And she could ill afford any more of those. Japan's Nasa Hataoka trying to take the sting out of last week's playoff loss, and she was charging hard on Sunday after Sagstrom's stumble. She took full advantage on six, this great approach leading to birdie and a two-stroke lead. Then on eight, chipping from just off the green, and this shot finds a way. It was looking like something special on the day was in the works for Nasa Hataoka. And then on 10, Danielle Kang, bogey free on the day, and she would dial in this approach, which sets her up for birdie as she moved to 15 under and within a stroke of Hataoka. Nasa would end up bogeying 10, so up steps Sagstrom from the sand. Oh! Wow. That gives us three players tied at 15 under atop the leaderboard with eight holes to play. Kang, though, no more birdies the rest of the way. Next on 11, Sagstrom is going to roll it in to regain that lead as she moves to 16 under. Sagstrom's one-stroke lead holds up until hole number 15. This is Hataoka's approach in the par four. She would make that birdie putt to pull into a share of the lead, but it was not shared for much longer. On 16, out of the sand, and Hataoka just cozies it right up next to the pin on the par five. She would birdie, and after a par from Sagstrom, Nasa Hataoka had a one-stroke edge with just two holes left. Hataoka's tee shot on 17 left her with a long birdie putt. Sagstrom, though, steps up, and she does considerably better. This ball, about a foot away from home. She would sweep that in for birdie, so Hataoka steps up with a chance at birdie, but no, she'd settle for par, meaning we've got a tie at 17 under as we head to 18. Fast forward now to Sagstrom's third shot on the par four. It's a nice chip, but still leaves her with a tough putt for par. Hataoka, meanwhile, has this birdie for the championship. So plenty more work to do here. Sagstrom's par putt will fall, so Hataoka now left with a short par putt to force a playoff. No! It is heartbreak for the second straight week for Nasa Hataoka, a crushing miss on the par putt, but for Sagstrom, well, call this LPGA Tour victory number one. She finishes at 17 under par. Hataoka, second place for the second straight week. Daniel Kang rounds out your top three as the LPGA takes a week off before returning in two weeks down under.